Hi chemistry class, I want to go over an example of using a redox table to predict a redox reaction. Okay, so I've set this up, chromium 2 nitrate in solution, acidified, and then slowly added to this, manganese 4 oxide. We're going to determine the net redox. Okay, so remember, step one is to write down all the reactants you have present. This is an aqueous ionic compound, which means these ions are dissociated. Okay, so you have chromium and you have nitrate. It's acidified, so you have H+. All of these are in solution, so you have water. Okay, this manganese 4 oxide is solid. Do not dissociate that. Okay, it's just a chunk of manganese oxide. All right, that's totally different than when it's in solution. In solution, these guys dissociate and form weak bonds with water molecules. This is just a chunk of, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing it's white powder or something like that. Okay, so again, do not dissociate an ionic compound if it's solid. Here's what we've got present. Now, I'm going to start looking for my OAs and RAs. Okay, I apologize that my data booklet is in rough shape, but it's going to suit me just fine. All right, so I'm looking for an SOA. Start up here. Go down the list. All right, I don't have this. Uh, whoa, I got MnO2. Do I have H+. I totally do. So here's my SOA, these guys together. Okay, these are my SOA. And I write that half reaction exactly like how it appears in my data booklet. Okay, so I'm just going to write it out. Okay, looks good. Now let's look for our SRA. RAs are on the right, the strongest ones at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going up. Okay, here's chromium, solid chromium. Do I have solid chromium? I do not. I have chromium ions. Okay, this would be a shiny piece of metal. Instead, I got some ions floating around in a liquid. However, I don't have to go much farther. Here it is. This is exactly what we've got. So I write this half reaction, starting on the right. This is going to be like the reactant, and these guys are going to be the product. So remember, for your SRA, write the half reaction right to left, just like we did in class. So it's going to be Cr2 plus becoming Cr3 plus, and an electron. Okay, done with the data booklet. Next step is we need to equate these electrons, okay, because this electron is going to go into the uh, manganese oxide, and there has to be equal amounts. This one's easy. I just got to multiply this guy by 2. Okay. I'll write underneath what it looks like after it's multiplied by 2. No big deal. And now you just combine your two half reactions. So that'll be my net. Let's see what it looks like. So I've got forgotten a state symbol. Not a big deal. Oops, I forgot them all over the place here. All right. In some questions, there'll be some crossing out to do here, but I don't have to uh, right now. I always like to check to see that my charge is balanced. So on this side, it looks like I'm dealing with plus eight. On this side, plus six, two more, plus eight. That looks good. Of course, you can go through element by element to make sure it's balanced. It should be, okay? This one looks good. I, I have a good feeling that we've done this correctly. The last thing we need to comment on is if it's spontaneous or not, and that's easy. That's just if the SOA is above the SRA in the table, okay, which it totally is. There, I'm highlighting it with my finger and thumb. So manganese oxide was up here. The chromium-2 is all the way down here. This is definitely a spontaneous reaction, so I'm going to write spawn. All right, looks good. I hope this helps.